Now where was where we? Oh yeah, we, I was talking about the stasis pod in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, right? You know, you know that Osmotian named Agrigor. The reason why he he captured those five aliens from the Andromeda gal Galaxy was he was was to absorb their powers. So once he got all his powers combined, he he says that nothing can stop him from from collecting the ult ow from collecting the ultimate prize. So now the five aliens he captured was like Bivalvin. Galapagus, Galapagus, Pandor, Andres, and Rad. But Rad is like the smartest one in the group. But, oh, there's already another video about this time the Soul Cube. Creepy music. Oh, the video disc here. I am. Is that the caverns? Well, hey, don't look away from the TV! That's a machine we saw. That's a machine that's... Over there! That's, that, that scans the soul cube. Well, there's another educational video about the Soul Cube. There's a scan here. Although we haven't got the Soul Cube's not here. Please haven't opened with caution. Hey, these people. Yep, an empress is ready to pounce on me. What's an imp? What's an imp doing in the storage cabinet? Larry Bullman? Hmm. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bullman, October so 19, says about the soul cube. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the soul cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time we have not seen any reaction from the cube and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of log. That was another helpful hint. Uh, it's really a desk about it's saying what they've got here. The Soul Cube. I know you've seen this already. The Soul Cube is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul Cube. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long-lost civilization. 
We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine U1 have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning U1. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up U1. Now let's get out of here for a while. And let's try and see if we can get the soul key. I know it's not there. The Truger! Yeah, yeah, I've heard that! One of your colleagues said you took it into a portal. Now we've got it's climbing on my legs. Get back down here. And another commando zombie. Oh, there's a lift here. If I buy that, please. Yep, going to the level three of the Delta Labs, which means we're almost there to the port to the main portal. When we get to the portal, we better try and stop this invasion, and try to and we, and we will try to stop Petruco once and for all. Because I knew I knew early on he was behind all this.